stomach of a small rabbit, the left side of the rumen, and this is the reticulum, the most cranial part, and this is from the medial aspect a part of the omasum, and above there is the spleen at the dorsal extremity of the rumen. The rumen is a large sac, has two curvatures, dorsal curvature and lesser curvature, cranial extremity and the caudal extremity, and parietal surface on the left side, and on the other side the medial aspect, the visceral surface. At the cranial extremity there is transverse groove, we call it cranial transverse groove, and the caudal extremity there is caudal transverse groove. From the cranial transverse groove arise the right longitudinal groove. From the caudal transverse groove in small ruminant arise only the ventral coronary grooves. Here is the dorsal coronary grooves are absent. The left accessory groove is small here. We can call here the dorsal ruminal sac, the ventral ruminal sac. This part is the ruminal atrium and this is the ruminal recess. Between the caudal transverse groove and the coronary groove, there is ventral blind sac, caudal ventral blind sac or caudal ventral saccus secus, and this is the dorsal caudal blind sac. The right side of a small ruminant stomach, here is the esophagus, enters the ruminal atrium, this is a cranial part of the reticulum, the omasum, and there is ab omasum, start of the duodenum. The, this large sac is the rumen. The internal structures of the rumen, we open an incision on the dorsal curvature of the rumen here. The rumen from above, from the dorsal curvature, it's apparent here, the ruminal pillars. The cranial transverse pillar, two longitudinal, the, here is the, this is the ruminal reticular orifice. This is the reticulum. This is the orifice of the esophagus. And this is the reticular part of the esophageal groove. Here is the ruminal part, very short. And this is the reticular part. The esophageal groove here is composed in adult animals of two folds. The interior of the reticulum, the lining of mucous membrane is composed of honeycomb shaped cells, four sided or six sided, hexagonal in shape. Each one is called reticular cells, reticular cell. The reticular cell in a small remnant doesn't have serrated border like the large remnants. The 
the interior of the omasum is lined by non-glandular mucous membrane in the form of omasal lamellae. The omasal lamellae are crystallic lipoles arise from the wall and directed toward the center of the omasum. The omasal lamellae are separated from each other by interlamellar recess. And the size of the omega lamellae, the sizes are different. There is large size, as large, moderate, small, and smallest. On each side of the omega lamellae, there is babili. There, there are some babili to increase the surface area of the omega. This is the omeso, reticular omasal orifice and here is the orifice between the omasum and the up omasum which is guarded by omeso up omasal fold the omeso up omasal fold or villa up omasica has two surfaces one surface toward the omasum lined by non-glandular mucous membrane in the form of omasal lamellae and the other side faces to the abomasum, so it is lined by glandular mucous membrane. This opening is the omeso abomasal orifice. The abomasum starts at the omeso abomasal orifice, and this is the omeso abomasal fold or villa abomasica. The funded part and the pyloric part, and this is the pyloric sphincter. The abomasal folds, which are spiral folds, thick at the middle, 